Hello everyone, my name is Adam or Epos Vox, tech guru here on YouTube at youtube.com slash Vox, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to use the new overlay feature for Discord. If you pull up the changelog or if your Discord has updated, they have now added in and updated their overlay feature, which is similar to the Steam overlay, except it allows you to use your Discord over top of your game. Now you can watch their little preview video in the changelog here, and if you click here to learn more, then you can see their list of already guaranteed to work whitelisted games, which includes World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, Minecraft, Heroes of the Storm, CSGO, Guild Wars 2, League of Legends, etc., along with some steps on how to use it. And setting it up is fairly straightforward. So I'm going to minimize Chrome here. So you go to your user settings, which is this gear icon next to your name, and go to games. And then you either add your game, or when you open your game, it will maybe automatically be detected, and just add a checkbox for whether or not the overlay is there. If the game does not get detected, then you click add it and choose which program is running and you can manually add games that way. However, for most games, it should be detected automatically. So we're going to run Counter-Strike Global Offensive because it's on their whitelist. As you can see here, it's already on my list. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that along with those two. But then it automatically pack pops up and adds the overlay because it's whitelisted. If it's a game, if you're using a game that isn't whitelisted, then the overlay checkbox might not be checked. Simply check it. Then come over here to the overlay settings, and it will tell you that it may trigger a false positive in your antivirus. Just ignore it. Then you have a checkbox for enabling the overlay universally, as well as a keyboard shortcut for it. And this appears to be shift and the little tick, but I'm going to make it shift dash. And then you can choose whether or not avatar sizes on your overlay are large or small, whether or not it shows display names only when speaking, always or never, and then display users, same thing. And then click done. And then you come over here to your game, and you can see there's the over the Discord overlay up here. It tells you what the keyboard shortcut is. So I'm going to hit it, shift dash, and boom. Here you can see various chat rooms, and you can pull up the chat rooms that you're in, and I can choose general and that can join the voice chat here I do not want to be in a voice chat right now so I will disconnect then you also if you click the gear icon you also have those same options that you had before so I can make it small avatar sizes display names only when speaking display users only when speaking then close the settings and hit my keyboard shortcut again to close the overlay and then it just has this teeny tiny little discord icon over top of your game. Then you can bounce around between chat rooms, things like that. And that's that's really all it takes is just bouncing around here and you have Discord in your game to voice chat with very little effort required. And then simply click your keyboard shortcut to close it again and resume playing your game. I do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to Discord's channel over here, and consider coming over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash eposvox for more content from me. I do lots of other tech videos and tutorials. And otherwise, catch you later.